Wifey here. As always, these videos are for educational purposes and just a little fun. Please like, subscribe, and join our wonderful community. Wifey here. I just wanted to give an update on Locktober and how much fun we are having. If you aren't familiar with Locktober, it's a fun little challenge where certain male body parts are locked away for the month. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'll keep it short so we don't draw the ire of the censorship police. Now, typically, we avoid Locktober and do the opposite, where I let hubby release as often as he wants, with the catch that he has to recycle everything. Well, this year, we decided to conform and do the boring thing and stick with the locking. Let me tell you, if you remember the few weeks before Locktober, we had hubby in his new cage, and he was so respectful and obedient. I was beyond pleased with how things went. However, I didn't want to keep him locked for two solid months, so I gave him a free pass for about four days. Essentially, we used the same rules we normally use for October. He could have his fun as often as he wanted, but he had to clean up after himself, you know, recycle the goods. So we did that. We did a lot of that over the weekend. As a wifey, let me tell you, there's just something about making him clean up that makes me all warm and, you know... That. We did a lot of that, too. But of course, he had to clean up. So after weeks of frustration, there was quite a bit to get out, and we did our best to drain him completely, making sure he was ready for the long month ahead. What I kind of knew, but didn't really realize, is how the male body responds to periods of drought and flood. Let's just say he got used to the flood part. Going from five times a day to zero put him immediately on high alert. His first day was intense. He was struggling, poor thing. I was laughing and enjoying every minute of it, but he was absolutely struggling. Being back in that device drove him insane. On the second day, I decided to inspect, and oh my goodness, the swelling was there. He was super sensitive, too. So it was another day of him clawing at his skin while I whispered little things in his ear. If you're a woman, you know the absolute power of pressing yourself against your man's back and whispering at him. Instant chills. And well, you know, instant reactions. A few touches here and there, and that poor cage was definitely being tested. But he endured. By the third day, he started whining, and we do not tolerate a whiny hubby around here. So I blistered his bottom completely with a bath brush. He can take it. His body was so flooded with hormones that he would have taken anything just to feel something. On day four, I decided he needed a break. I'm not cruel, you know. He gets to take the device off for hygiene and to make sure there's no chafing. After cleaning and getting him ready to put it back on, I thought he needed to get an edge. He was working, and I distracted him a bit, giving him just enough of an edge to keep him on his toes. That was fun for 30 minutes. So I thought, why not do it again on day five and again on day six? Now, I have never seen a man almost cry from being that backed up. But by day six, after 30 minutes, he was ready to do anything. He has some serious backup going on, and we still had 25 days to go. On day seven, I was being super needy and critical, as I've been for the last month. He knows his duties and chores, and I don't let him slip. To my surprise, on day seven, he was already up with a full breakfast ready. Not just coffee and toast or yogurt, but an omelet, home fries, fresh fruit. A full brunch on a Monday. I was blown away. Then came the massages, the sweet gestures, and for the first time, he wasn't straining the cage. He was being the perfect, obedient hubby we all need. Day eight, the same. It's like his hormones finally told him exactly where he needed to be, right beside me as my perfectly mannered husband. I thought about continuing the 30-minute routine just to drive him crazy, but he's been so good lately, I'm letting him stay right where he is. He'll be satisfying some needs later, and we'll see if that reactivates his whining, but I think it won't. I predict he'll do his job, then run me a bath and pamper me all night. A girl could get used to this. As always, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Let me know how you are faring with Locktober. I'm dying to know. I've been having so much fun with Finewood trying out new implements on Hubby for the sound effects, but that's another story. I'll have more Finewood content out soon as my audio gets sorted. In the meantime... Comment below with the number 10 if you need a new task, but fair warning, your thighs may regret it.